Okay, so we want to do number 23 and 6.5, which says solve by factoring this thing. Okay, so how do I solve by factoring? Okay, let's move everything to one side. So I. Okay, so subtract 11x and then maybe also add 24 at the same time. Let's do it in two steps. So first we'll subtract 11x, then we'll add 24. So I get x squared minus 11x is, wait, x squared minus 11x plus 24 is zero, right? Okay, what's the a on this one? One. One. C is? 24. 24. So I should multiply them. multiply them. So I'm looking for things that multiply to B24 and to be negative 11. Okay, so I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 24 add to negative 11. So 24 is 2 times 12, 1 times 24. 3 times 8, and 4 times 6, maybe? Okay, so what kind of sums can I get out of 4 and 6? You can get 10 or 2. 10 or 2. I'm looking for 11. That's not the right one. Oh, yeah, it's 3 and 8. Right, negative 3, negative 8. Okay, so when I factor, what do I get? You get x squared minus 8x. 3x plus 24. Okay. X should be squared. Thank you. The x should definitely be squared. So this is me using the AC method on something that's a little bit overkill, right? You guys see that? I really could have straight up factored that into x minus 8 and x minus 3. But if I was to do the AC method on this, because I don't know, I forgot or whatever, how do I do the AC method on this? How do I finish this thing off? You want to factor out. Okay, I got to factor by grouping. So what can I factor out of the first bit? And then you get x minus Okay, so there's an x times x minus eight, and then on the other guy, what can I factor out of that? Negative three. Okay, negative three. So then I'm left with x minus eight. X minus eight. And this is equal to zero, all right? Now, what can I factor out of this stuff on the left? An x minus eight. Yeah, there's an x minus eight in both terms. Or I could think, okay, Jimmy brought x, whatever the heck an x minus eight is to the party, and Susan ran off with three of them. So we're left with x minus three, x minus eight. Okay, see that? However, that has to be arranged in your brain. So if you want to factor it out or if you want to tell yourself a little story, either way. Just make sure you're talking about the same thing, right? Okay, so I got this. Now what? Okay, so I'm applying the zero product rule. So I've got x minus 3 is 0 or x minus 8 is 0. So just add 3 and add 8. Okay, so I add 3 to both sides, so I get x is 3. I add 8, so I get x is 8. Am I done? Yep. Yeah. Was this a bit overkill to use AC factoring? Yep. Yeah. What else could I have done? You could have extracted the root, too, if you wanted to. That would have been really wonky. But <laughs> yeah, you could try to complete the square on this thing. Why wouldn't I advise complete the square on this to start with? Because 11 is not divided. Yeah, 11 is not divisible by 2. At least the a is 1. Right? That's something. What other method could you use? You could use the quadratic. Yeah, you could certainly use the quadratic formula here. It would work and be pretty chill. Cool? Questions? Concerns?